Okay. That should be better. Uh, maybe a little loud. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. okay. Whoa. That should be better. Uh, but now it's playing uh, maybe, maybe a little maybe loud. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Uh, mute that. Mute this. Put up the chat. All right. Okay. So now we are ready to go. Sorry about that, guys. Out of practice. Uh, first, I got to apologize for not doing uh, being. It's been a while since I've uh, done one of these. It's been uh, a little over a week. Uh, turns out my grandkids came to visit, and uh, I did not have any time at all to do any streams. Um, so it's all good. It's all good. I had a great time. Uh, lots of stuff happening. Lots of uh, people come to visit us in PEI. We got to take them to beaches. We got to take them to cows. We got to take them to all these different places. And so, yeah, lots and lots. Very, very busy. Uh, the one thing you should notice right away is uh, oh, I still haven't figured out that blacking out issue. Oh, well. Uh, Hey guys, new look, new plane. Uh, we're not going to fly the 737 today. We're going to fly the uh, Dash 8 Q400. Um, this is the fly JSM version. Uh, it's uh, somewhat simplistic compared to the 737. Um, I'm not really up to speed on this plane at all. I did do a little bit of playing around to get it f the basics figured out, but I haven't really figured out how to... Uh, how to actually, uh, you know, to do to run this thing properly. I, I, I think I'm getting close, uh, and I probably should have streamed that, given the fact that the focus of this channel is to help everybody learn uh, and to learn myself. But uh, I can show you what we're doing so far with this thing, and we can figure it out. All right, let me just check my tablet one more time to see how that audio is working. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. All right, so here we are. Uh, we are in Vancouver. I did uh, load up some uh, a special airport for this. There's all sorts of cool stuff around the airport. They did a really good job. Uh, I also loaded up the ortho for the area, so that should uh, should make our en route uh, look really good as well. Uh, we do have a full 3D cockpit uh, as well as uh, a cabin, which is kind of cool. Looks really nice. This is a really old plane. Uh, it's been around for, I think, two or three versions of X-Plane, but uh, I just, as you guys know, I love the short hops. I love, I don't, I don't want to sit there at altitude for hours, and I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. It's kind of boring. Uh, I can't leave because I'm streaming, so the short hops are better. And uh, I decided it was between this and the uh, CRJ200. Um, and what I'm thinking is I'll probably end up getting the CRJ as well because this one's great. I love it, but it just doesn't go. Uh, I could probably do a longer flight in the same amount of time because of the airspeed that this guy gets compared to the CRJ. Um, so I'll probably end up getting the CRJ so that I can do slightly longer hops uh, in the same amount of time. So hopefully that 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 uh, that we can get this this one finished up and wrapped up pretty quick and I, I'll move on to that one. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of systems are simulated. A lot of people use the FMC. Uh, they load up the XFMC plugin uh, and use it with this, but I'm gonna use the, the one that comes with it. It's extremely basic, but uh, for our purposes, I think it's perfectly fine. So uh, as you can see, we're cold and dark right now. Uh, up here, we got our uh, overhead. Uh, it's fairly basic. It's got the, uh, your electric controls up here, uh, de-icing, windshield stuff here, lights all along the bottom, pressurization right here. It's uh, Depending on how you set it, it's pretty much automatic. Uh, engine starting, APU here, uh, some lighting stuff here, internal lighting, um, AC control for, for generators, uh, and all your air stuff is down here. 
uh, as we move down, we have our autopilot here, and it doesn't, it works differently, guys. It works a lot differently. Uh, there's no real auto throttle at all. So you're constantly adjusting your throttles to maintain speeds and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't have really, this version anyway, doesn't really have VNAV. Um, so you pretty much have to manage your altitude and your, uh, and your descent and all that yourself. It does, uh, does have a, uh, most of the time when you're climbing and stuff, you're using IAS mode, which is you set the speed that you want to climb at. And depending on the speed, if you're achieving that speed with the power that the engines are putting out compared to the wind and all that, uh, it'll climb at a certain rate to keep you at that speed. Uh, it's got a, a vertical speed, so you can set, I want to climb at X number of thousands of feet, or I want to descend at X number of thousands of feet. And that's what I, that's what I do when I want to descend. Usually I'll set it for a certain s descent speed, and then I'll manage my uh, airspeed through, uh, through the throttles. Uh, I do use the altitude select, uh, and you change the altitude here. Uh, and I'll talk more about this as we go, because let's just get this thing up in the air. Uh, but first, I'll talk about this section here a little bit. It's a little different. You set these guys. Actually, I can drop them down right now. Turn the fuel off. Uh, you put it here for starting. Uh, and then you control these guys. These are controlling the props, obviously, because here's your throttles. Uh, and you control those by these buttons up here. So end top to take off to taxi, all that kind of stuff. MCL, I believe, is your climbing speed, and MCR is your uh, cruise speed. Um, and you have your tank tanks here, uh, fuel control, uh, your uh, hydraulic pressure and PTU control up here, and you want those on. And your auto feather, you'll have those on until you get up in the air. Uh, parking brakes over here, flap settings here. Uh, yeah. So there isn't a whole lot more to it. You do, you don't really have control of your spoilers in this. It just kind of controls themselves. So you basically set it for taxi or flight and that's about it. So it's kind of funky, um, but it's neat. It's a lot of fun to fly really. All right, let's do this. Um, so first thing we want to do is we're going to fire up the, get some power into the systems and whatnot, turn on the main battery and we'll fire up the APU. So we power, start, and then the generator. And it's pretty much automatic. And as you can hear, hopefully, in the background, you can hear uh, the APU starting up. I'm going to turn that down a little bit for you guys. All right. So uh, yeah, so that's that's it now. Now we got a bunch of caution stuff. we got to get rid of all that before we take off. Um, and we got to put in our uh, flight plan. And uh, my dog wants in. One second. <laughs> Sorry about that. My puppy dog wanted in the room and he was scratching at the door. Of course, I shut the door so I don't bother my wife while I talk really loud. All right, so uh, let's just get right to this guy. So we're gonna, first thing he wants is an airport. It's very, very, very basic. Uh, uh, very, very, very basic uh, FMC here, or CDU. So uh, I just put in the first airport and then you hit next. Uh, don't hit enter, that's like a direct to button apparently. Uh, our next plan segment is, uh, bu, 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 bu. did I generate this plant yet? I did not. Let's generate it now. I'll drag it over so everybody can see. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to be flying at, uh, one three zero. So 13,000 feet. <coughs> We're going to go the job in four. I don't know. Maybe that's an arrival or something uh, for Seattle. We're going to click here to show the map. Uh, fuel. We want 4733. 
So let's set the fuel up first. 47.33, drag her down a little bit. Boom, good. Done, apply. All right, so first segment, I believe is jobbing, because that's just uh, YVR, top of climb, jobbing, jawbone. So you have to put fix and then type in uh, jobbing. And it'll find it and tell you how far it is and how long it's going to take us to get there. Estimated, whatever. Go to next. Uh, what is the next one? Digging. So fix. Digging. Uh, and then it's top of descent. And it's Alkaya. Alkia. Fix Alkia. What the heck? Fix. Jobbing. Oh, digging. I just went right over top of that. There we go. Digging. Previous is jobbing. Digging. And fix Alkia. Alkia. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds like a sounds like a terrorist organization. Terrible. All right, uh, and then of course airport. Uh, K S E A. Did I go over, over top? Of, I did. Fix Al Kaya. There we go. Next airport. Uh, K. S E A. So there we go. It's 112 nautical miles. Uh, there you go. Uh, so yeah, there's not much to it. I could put in. You can click on this thing here and put in the altitude if you want. That, but it, uh, I'm not sure what the point would be. Uh, we're only going to be using this for our L nav anyway. So and we're going to be managing our def, uh, descent profile ourselves. It should be a lot of fun. This guy does not like to descend, by the way. So what I generally do is uh, I drop it about a thousand, maybe eleven hundred feet per minute, and so that way it makes the math easy. A thousand feet per minute means that I have to start descending from thirteen thousand feet. Uh, if I want to end up on the approach at 3,000 or 2,500 or something like that, then I have to subtract that, and then it gives me like, I don't know, like 10,000 feet. So I'd have to drop, start dropping per minute. So like, I don't know, start at X number of miles out. We'll do that math as we go. Give us something to do while we're in the air. All right, so uh, that's in there. Um, we haven't done a whole lot, and uh, and that's fine. Could turn on the bleed air from the APU right now to give people uh, air, uh, but I'm pretty stingy, <laughs> so I'm not, I didn't do it. So let's tell them to sit down and shut up, and uh, we'll turn on our taxi light, turn the beacon white, and we'll turn on these other lights just for fun. Uh, we don't need position lights yet, I don't think. And we'll open up these guys. It doesn't really matter. We could do it later. Uh, that's it. So let's uh, let's do our our backup, our pushback. So what we want to do is probably end up facing straight out of here this way. To see if we can make that turn gentle. There we go, just like that. All right. Well, we're ready. Come and get us. All right. So, yeah. So he's gonna come and he's gonna push us out. Uh, and while we're, while he's doing that, we'll uh, fire up the engines. <laughs> so the other thing I did is I I got a bunch of GoFlight panels and I tried hooking them up. They kind of work. The switches work. 
Um, but the, the indicators don't work. And I hooked up the MCP and supposedly it works, but again, nothing on the, on the panels or anything. All right. There we go. Parking brake is set. Let's make sure that's actually working. Yeah, it is. All right. Is it on or off right now? Uh, it's off. Okay. All right. He will finish hooking us up momentarily. It's a different looking tug than the last version of this. Cool. All right. Now. So now we can start engines. So we want the bleeds to be minimum and off, I believe. And we need our pumps pumping boom boom and we'll might as well turn these on while we're at it and this bleeder has to be off so we'll turn our engine starters on normal we'll start number two first it did put in a different sound pack in this it does seem to do a pretty good job here i'll turn it up so you guys can hear it better oh shit And give it some gas. Maybe too late. Go again. Here we go. Come on. We're waiting for the prop to start. Come on. Oh, crap. Oh, there it goes. There we go. You can see it spinning out there. It's kind of cool. Sounds are good. The sounds are good. They are real. Good stuff. All right, might as well get number two, number one on the go. I don't think you have to wait on this. I think you can just give it the fuel right away. And use it as required. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Pretty cool sounds. I love a tur good turboprop. Put our spoilers on taxi. We'll wait for these guys to line up. Alright, so we can disconnect. Go ahead. Woohoo! And he goes. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay, so now we have our engines on. These guys are on. We can turn on our bleeds. Still leave it on minimum until we get in the air. Uh, we are taxiing, so that's on. Engines are good. Power's all good. Thanks, dude. Alright, so turn off the generator. Shut down the APU. And you can hear it winding down. Perfect. All right, uh, let's see, these guys are on, that's on, that's good. Eh, you can do VREFs, and I don't have the manual printed out, but we can take a quick peek, let's see. All right, uh, wow, that's really small. Wow, that's really weird. Come on, there we go, there we go. All right, so somewhere up here, there's some charts for us. How much did we weigh? Uh, bu 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 bu. We are at 56,000 pounds. Uh, whew, I think we're heavy. I think we're heavy. 56. Do we even have charts for that? We do. 56. So we're going to be taking off on flaps 5, and I'll set that now. Uh... So, V1 VR is 123, so we can go select, V1 is, what did we say it was, 123, VR, oh, that 
doesn't look right. Looks like, oh yeah, five degrees. 123, V2 is 126. Six. Yeah. This you can't spin this wheel. You got to move it up and down, and I've no, it's so difficult to get it in the right spot. One twenty-seven is close enough. So then one thirty-six for V, whatever that is, little triangle. One thirty-six. One thirty seven it is. And V climb one forty seven. Good stuff. Alright, so there you go. Now we got speed bugs. Everybody's good, door is closed. We already hit the yoke. It's got these fancy dancy things and check this out. This is three D. Three D display. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we're 56,000 gross weight. We got, uh, wow, we got a lot of passengers by the looks of it. We're not full though. Hmm, fair enough. All right, let's do this. We are going to take off on uh, zero eight left, which I believe is, oh good Lord, I think it's over there. So we're gonna have to cruise out here, do a right, hang a loo, a right, hang another right, and cruise out there till we get and turn around there. And, oh, sorry, no, over here, boom, and take off that way. All right, let's do it. So, uh, first thing we got to do, if we want a taxi, because we're not gonna go anywhere right now, is we got to set V tops. That changes our propeller pitch and gives puts puts the throttle in a different spot. The throttle lock in this one doesn't work. Does not doesn't work like the old Majestic did. The old Majestic. Yeah. So we'll give her a little bit of gas. Oh, my dog wants up. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Here he is. His name's Skeeter. Hey, buddy. There he is. Have a seat. Have a seat. There we go. We're taxiing, dude. Turn off the parking brake. And this guy is not sticky like the 737. This guy will move, move, move. Uh, it'll move on the ground. It'll move in the climb. It'll move when you land. You can't even cut the power because she'll drop out of the sky. Uh, you got to basically fly it down to the runway. So, a little different. Look at us go already. You have to and I can't turn the engines too much lower without going in reverse. Apparently I can in this mode. Oh no, we're slowing right down. We're in reverse. Slow down, man. There we go. Yeah, it's a pretty slick little plane on the ground. Not like... 737. Alright, where are we where are we turning here? Alright. I get it. Basically we go up here and we turn right and go all the way. I think it's this guy up here. Yeah. Go all the way down to the end. guy is fast. It's like a little sports car. All right, let's check our uh, let's check all our stuff. Did we get the auto the auto feather on? No, we did not. These guys are on. That's good. It's all good. We got to turn on our pedos before we get on the runway. Uh, make sure we're still on the taxiway here. Look at us go. That's a ground speed. Twenty six. Yeah. This thing wants to go. It wants to go bad. All right, intake is on. Eh, windshield. Turn some windshield heat on. Why not? 
check to make sure we're still on the run on the taxiway. This is why they have two pilots. I think I've mentioned that before. And we're just a motor in again. Alright. Uh, taxi lights are on. Ah! Might as well get ready to take off here. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody's sitting. Whoa! Oh man, that was close. Almost went off the runway, off the taxiway. This is because I'm trying to save time to get off the ground. Uh, yeah, we're good. We are good. Zero eight left, so that should be right up here. Man, look at us go. 30, 30 miles an hour on the ground. Woohoo! Yeah, we're in a hurry here, folks. <laughs> Eight left. Good stuff. Alright, we'll stop here and do one final check. Approaching zero. Eight left. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, do do do. Everybody looks good down here. Yeah. Yeah. Pedos. There we go, we'll turn off the parking brake and all our alerts will be gone. Which is pretty awesome. That means we're good to go. How's our flaps? Flaps 5? Yep. Flaps 5, this is a long runway week. We can use a lot of it, no problem. They didn't fix the the squealy tire one in, in this particular plane yet. I heard a rumor that they're going to come out with an ex another version of this soon, though. Alright, let's see what happens here. Yeah, looks good. She'll get really, really, really far into there and then uh, in the uh, N1 and it'll, or the torque, and it'll roll it back a little, so. It's perfect. I'm at full throttle right now. Wow, and I'm just all over the runway. Pretty crazy. Oh, we we're, we were totally supposed to roll back there. Oh well. All right, landing gears up. Coming up. And we'll bring bring the flaps up. And. Start setting up for our climb. So we're gonna go IAS go a little faster than we are now. There we go. Turn on the autopilot and the odd damper. So that should take care of our vertical. Hopefully it's playing with the yeah, there it goes. The trim. So we can get up, get going here a little bit. She's going to climb like a bat out of hell right now because we're only targeting down there. So we might as well speed it up a little bit. Get her up to 200. For the climb. And I didn't look at this, the, uh, the sit on this one. Uh, so I'm not sure what the departure is, but we're just going to go nav mode here. So what we do is we select, if you can look down here, and we select uh, FMS, um, and then we just turn on, go down here. The left side is vertical stuff, and the right side is horizontal stuff. So we're just gonna go nav, boom, click. Nav, and it puts in L nav here, and you guys, you can see it's turning. And we're climbing, 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 and we're doing it at about 200 kilometers, or 200 miles an hour, so that'll give us this kind of climb, although we still have to uh, give her climb power, which will slow us down a little bit. We won't climb quite so fast. All right, we can 
can speed her up a little bit because we're still climbing really well. So we'll go to 220. And we'll set our, uh, our altitude that we're shooting for, which is 13,000. should have said that before and you can see the numbers right down here zoom in a little bit it's at 12 6 so bring it up a little bit there we go 13 don't seem to have very fine control over this here holy crap we're about to overspeed um it needs to climb come on Slow her down a little bit till we get some altitude. Yeah, that was my fault. I didn't set the uh, the altitude properly, so I thought we were at the right altitude already. <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on, you can climb. Slow that down a little bit. pitch hold mode we want to go indicated airspeed mode well let's just cheat for a little bit and do vertical speed come on, come on crank it up there we go now we'll switch to IAS come on man why won't you climb thousand come on climb you bugger just seem to be holding steady all right we have it is we'll just have to make sure we don't uh, slow down too much Keep screwing up stuff. All right. Vertical speed mode. Climb, you bastard. Climb. There we go. Now we can give her a little more power. Should be able to climb at full power with the, well, full throttle. Now I'm just playing with the uh, vertical speed so that we don't overspeed. So we're still accelerating, so we'll crank her up a little more. Uh, we're getting close. Still speeding up a little bit. We'll just a little bit more. Oh. There we go. So we're climbing, and you can see the red tape going away, which means we can actually go faster. But we're not at 10,000 feet yet, so we can't. We're not, we're not really supposed to go over 250. Um, while we're at it, let's take a look at the window. Oh, we're already over the water. Can't see the ortho too well. Oh, we can look behind us. Looks pretty nice. Whoa! Oh, it's, lo it's lo loading stuff that didn't previously load, probably. So we're getting a, a little bit of a frame bump there. Ah, yeah, whatever. We'll just... Uh, let it handle that. All right, we're at 9,400. Okay, uh, we're in the air. We can, we can turn these off now. Uh, and this guy is perpetually hiding behind our throttles. This guy. All right, so those are off. Obviously, we don't need these on anymore. And or that. Uh, or this, or this. <laughs> and our passengers can get up and move around if they want and we'll go to normal on the uh, bleed all right now we can continue to play with our autopilot and see what the hell's going on just look 
looking at this. Well above where we need to be now, so in order to get faster, 10,000 feet, we can go above 250, so we can slow our ascent a little bit. Get a little speed over the ground. Ground speed is currently 285. And we're coming up to our, uh, our cruise altitude. At which point we'll turn on our cruise power. And uh, uh, let's dial back. Hang on, we're going to go this way. And we're going to dial back our distance on our on our map there. Yeah, we got quite a ways to go yet. So, we're at our cruising speed, or altitude, so we should be in altitude hold mode, which is perfect. And we're gonna just like rock it up there. So now we're cruising, so we can drop the prop power, or uh, the prop pitch. And uh, we'll have to throttle back quite a bit so that we don't overspeed. Bump up. Bump up against the top there a little bit, though. It's close enough. You don't want to get too close because if you get some kind of weird back wind gust, it'll just blow you into the uh, overspeed category. So don't want to don't want to do that. And you can see our progress to Jobin, or Jawbone, I think it is. Uh, we're cruising along pretty good. We're about 38 miles to it. Um, one thing I like to do in this plane is take a look at how far we are from our final destination and the estimated time of whatever that is, ETE. It thinks we got about 14 minutes left. We're at 13,000 feet. I want to be in our approach at about two so we got to drop about 11,000 feet we're going to do it at about a thousand feet per minute so we're going to leave when this guy says 11 even though i don't think it's accurate that's okay it'll just give us extra time to uh to set up let's look at, take a look at the window oh mount baker over there i think and if uh, these clouds are in the way. I don't think we can see uh, can't see Rainier. We do see the uh, Olympics on the Olympic Peninsula. That's another system, mountain range off the, on the other side of the Puget Sound from Seattle. Mount Baker is a, a volcano and so is Mount Rainier and everybody will know there's three of them I think I think there might be four but there's these I think the fourth one is up in the Rocky somewhere over in BC but uh, this one's Mount Baker he's a volcano he's number one here and then up here somewhere over there is Mount Rainier and it's a humongous beast of a thing uh, and everybody will know the one after that, uh, which is Mount St. Helens, and it already blew. So, if Mount Rainier ever blows, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't blow towards Seattle, because they'll all be gone. Uh, Mount Baker is pretty dormant. I don't know what would happen if that blew. But I think Mount, Mount Rainier is the bigger, the bigger problem. All right, we're doing well. As always, the weather is provided by X Enviro, looking pretty good. And the uh, visuals out the window on the ground right now are provided by Ortho for XP, which is a free. Uh, we're gonna move up a little bit in the cockpit here. Yeah, looks pretty good. It's a free uh, or free utility to uh, download orthographic imagery uh, and make scenery out of it. 
which looks pretty damn good uh, and it's free so I do have a video showing how to do that so go check that out all right let's see how we're progressing perfect we're about 11 minutes as this thing says <laughs> from Seattle and uh, so we're gonna begin our descent shortly and I'm gonna go let my dog back out <laughs> he wants out now I'll be right back cloud layer zipping by above us here all right we should just begin our descent if I'm gonna do it slowly yeah it thinks we're 10 minutes out we're probably a little beyond that now the, the plan calls for the top of descent to start uh, between Diggin and Al Qaeda uh, which we are currently still heading to Jawbone so we will be coming down early if I go down now um, yeah but I want to do it anyway not good at, the, at approaches with this thing yet. I just, I'm just not. So what we will do is we'll set, we'll just, we'll go down to stages then, and we'll gauge it by how far we are from stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take a look at this guy. I'm going to drop him to like 5,000 feet or something. So we'll drop him down to 5,000. Ish. That's about as close as we can get. And what we're going to do first, before we start dropping, is we're just going to slow down. Bleed some of that speed off so that when we start putting the nose down, um, we don't just immediately overspeed. So we drop, we're, we're successfully dropping some speed, because once this thing starts in the descent, it's really hard to slow down. Um, so what we're going to do now is just going to put it into uh, VS mode and we're going to nose down to about a thousand about a thousand feet per minute there we go and uh, as you can see we're at about a thousand and our speed is, slow is still slowing down so we can speed her up a bit Technically, we're supposed to not do to below uh, above 250 below 10,000. We're only at 12, but it's really, like I said, it's really hard to slow down. So you don't want to go too much above 250 uh, in the descent. Uh, you just wouldn't be able to slow down enough. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it. So we're gonna we're gonna pretend we uh, left late and we need to make up some time. And we'll ask uh, ATC if we can go uh, break that uh, that limit. And uh, of course, I'm not flying online right now, so this should be fine. And what I'm not doing is taking a look at the chat. We do have some people watching, so uh, please go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you can, and really help me out. That would be amazing. So I'd love that. And feel free, talk in the chat. Let me know uh, what you think. Um, let me know how you think. Uh, what do you What do you think? X plane. What do you think of this uh, Q400? What do you think of the, the uh, Look at that. Look at that view out the window. Isn't that awesome? Got the Olympics off to the right. Should have. Should have. Mount Rainier. Guessing. Over there somewhere. Maybe a little uh, a little hazy probably blocking it out so that was our turn so now we're heading to Diggin which is pretty short and then we're gonna go to Alkia I'm gonna call it Alkia yeah we're getting a little fast here so probably want to slow that down a little bit yeah let's take a look outside 
Another good thing about this plane is I get a decent frame rate from it. I get, you know, if it's loading scenery as I'm turning, I'm going to get like, like 30 or something. But I'm getting 50 and 60 frames per second off this guy, so. Boulder played. A little less uh, difficulty, a little less complexity. And, uh, yeah. Get a little more frame rate out of it. flying a porter skin right now. I forgot to change that to, uh, I did download the Air Canada ones and the Air Canada Express Jazz and all that kind of stuff. I did get some skins for that, but I didn't bother choosing it when I loaded up uh, X-Plane today, so. Look at, the, look at the ground. Ortho. Looks pretty good. I don't get the super high res ortho, because it just takes too long. And honestly, even see most of it I don't <laughs> usually stuck in here looking at the panels in the airplane so that's fine how are we doing it really looks good I never did turn down the uh, the engines though did I hopefully that wasn't too loud for everybody look at that gorgeous scenery out the front Nice clouds. <laughs> it's awesome. How's our, are we descending still? We are, and we're over speeding. I'm gonna slow down. I told you guys this plane is really, really difficult uh, to slow down in the air. Now, it's not that we sped up, it's that the uh, we're dropping in altitude and we're hitting thicker air, so our overspeed tape comes down. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? We are 16 miles from Alkia, Alkia, <laughs> whatever it is, and we are about three minutes out from that, and that should be fairly accurate because uh, it's a straight line. Then we'll do a little bit of a turn. And we'll go straight for Seattle. And what I'm going to do is we're going to I'm going to bring up the map, and we're going to be landing on 16 left in Seattle. So that would be this guy. And we're going to tune those navs 110.3 because I'm lazy. And what we're going to do I don't have the approach plates, so we're going to make one up. We are going to turn and come back at it and hit it somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, what's that? NOLA. We're going to aim for that. And then uh, keep coming in. And then we'll hit across the, uh, the, the localizer and the glide slope somewhere around here. So... We should probably be turning shortly. Yeah, runway is down here. Oh, maybe Nola would be too far, too far up. All we gotta do is veer off somewhere around here and just kind of, we'll just kind of come at it like that and intercept. Uh, we'll do vectors and intercept uh, 16 left there. 110.3. Let's verify those radios. They are down here. 110.3 on one and 110.3 on two. Perfect. Our descent is coming along nicely and very quickly. We don't have to go this slow. We can speed her up a bit. 240 would be fine. Oh yeah, we're step descending. We're going to go to 5,000, I think. Yeah. Whew. A little more. A little more.
more throttle. Throttles are provided by SciTech. I paid money for them, but uh, I am using them. Wow, we got some got some buildings there. Not exactly sure where that what that is. That's Seattle, I think. Downtown Seattle. Because that bridge is the... There's two bridges in Lake Washington, I think. Bill Gates lives somewhere around there, I believe. Yeah, it's the 90 going out there. And that goes over to the 405 and the I-5 interstates right straight through. So we should be getting a lot closer than we think. In fact, there it is there. So we better do that turn like yesterday. Ah, uh, crap. I blew the approach. <laughs> We're a lot closer than I thought. So we'll go heading mode. Crank it over there. And we'll, uh, we gotta drop altitude big time. Uh, yeah. Big time. Let's see how fast we can drop here. We'll drop some gear and maybe that'll give us some uh, give us some drag. Hopefully it'll help us not overspeed too much. Change our nav source to the ILS. We're way, way above the, the glide slope. Yeah, see, I, I should have done what I originally thought. You know, it's 11 minutes out on, on that guy. It just seems to work out better. And we're still accelerating here, so i got to slow down. Let's see if I can get it below 10 on the torque. That's about as slow as I can get it. That's Kirkland over there. Redmond's up there somewhere over there. Yeah. Okay. Stop sightseeing. Got to fly a plane. All right. Let's set the lights up. Uh, boom. 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 Twenty-five hundred already. Awesome. Sweet. All right. So let's uh, let's get this heading. Off to the right here, we should be crossing. Should be cross. What a beautiful plane! Look at that. Beauty. The airport's down, down that way. Ah, uh, can't remember. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, <laughs> we're way past it, which is weird. Cause oh yeah, there it is there. All right, we got to stop descending. We overdid it again. I'm really blowing this approach. This is brutal. Yeah, people are screaming out of their backyards right now. What's that plane doing? We really blew the approach. <sighs> Drag. What's it look like? Oh my lord, are we even going to be able to make this? Might have to do it by hand. Should have turned this guy down too so we can see where the hell they are supposed to be going. Too much busyness on there and you can't turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. There we go. 
Hmm. Yeah. That's that's the airport there. Oh man, this is gonna be brutal. We're gonna have to do it by hand. As soon as we see that localizer coming by. Man, are we that low? We are. Yeah, we're super low. Yeah, we're still descending as well. We're gonna do. We're gonna take this over and do it by hand. Uh, let's ascend a little bit. Oh, jeez, get, get pound in some power in the engines. A little slow. That's Boeing Field right there. I believe. Down in Renton or something? Can't remember. So, we're going to be turning into that magenta line, or red, or I think it's just red. So, we're going to try to do this. We're going to go as close as we can to that and then. Do a sharp turn left and join the localizer, and uh, we'll see if we can meet the glide slope as well. <laughs> what a horrible approach! Like I said, new to this plane. Is that that must be the AGL all right yeah we were really low <laughs> all right uh, <laughs> that's the airport right there what the hell is going on and look at that, we passed right by it, and we're in, we're supposed to be in approach mode. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to blame the plane, but it's, something's messed up. I'm guessing it's me. Alright, sorry folks, in the back. Oh, they're going to freak out. What the hell's going on? Oh, that's ridiculous. People are screaming, losing their minds in the back here. There. There we go. All right, uh, we're going a little fast, so we'll lose some speed. Okay. Yeah, it's still too fast. there oh Jesus there's a center I forgot <laughs> I don't even know if I have it set up right for this landing. This is brutal. I'm just getting on the ground, guys. I'm not even doing the right thing anymore. <laughs> At least the runway is really long. Let's see if we can set her down nice and smooth anyway. Not too bad. 137 is pretty good. knots now manual braking bring up the flaps 
flaps. Put the spoilers in taxi position. Ugh, that was terrible. Get the APU going. Turn on the taxi lights. Turn off the runway lights. All right. I want to turn. Oh, man. All right. We were going a little fast still. Couldn't make that turn. We'll take the next one. Well, another example of how not to do stuff. <laughs> Oh, sweet. We are going to park right over here. So that actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> We're racing the baggage car. And we just drove through it, I think. There we go. And we're there. Parking brake set. Okay, turn on some bleed air. Turn off the gens from the engines. Turn off some of these lights. Let the people up. And cut the fuel. Close the engine intakes. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that. They may need those open so they can cool off the engines, but eh, whatever. APU's running, okay. Uh, and open the passenger door. Assuming our engines are not spinning, they are not. We're good. Oh. Yeah, there's the door. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. There you go, folks. Another example of how not to do this. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll get the hang of it. We uh, we pretty much had the, got the hang of the 737, so this one should be a lot easier, as you can tell. Uh, I'll try to do more, uh, more streams uh, in the coming weeks uh, than I did in the last week. And uh, hopefully we get some folks uh, watching. And uh, yeah, let's uh, turn some stuff off. There we go. can hear the APU winding down. That's cool. Pretty lo sweet looking plane, honestly. I like it. And the airport's pretty slick looking too. Never did see Mount Rainier. How did that happen? There it is there. Look at that thing. It's huge. Absolutely huge. And that's a volcano. Look at the other mountains near it compared to it. Look at those. That's, those are actual mountains. And then, boom, you get this big zit sticking up out of the middle. Crazy. Mount Baker, can we see it? No. A little foggy, a little hazy today. It's kind of cool. And the airport itself? Not too bad. Not too bad. Surrounding scenery isn't terrible. There you go. That is KSEA, Seattle. They call it SeaTac. I think probably because it's in Tacoma or near, near Tacoma. I don't know. Can't remember. 
pretty slick little airport. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions on where you'd like uh, to see me fly next uh, or what, what kind of airports you'd like to see or what kind of aircraft you'd like to see or anything, really, or even comments on uh, what I did wrong, that would be awesome. <laughs> That's a weird noise. Oh. I accidentally hit the, uh, the flaps button on my joystick, I think. It's weird that they're making the noise because everything's off. Yeah, look at that. They're moving. That's hilarious. They shouldn't have power to move. Uh, looks like they're down a bit. <laughs> That's funny. There's no hydraulics, man. Why are you moving? Maybe it's a bug. Oh, well. All right, boys. Girls, we will see you next time.